I have, in the meantime, undone the transition that I inserted here and have put the clips back into their original state. This means that the left clip has been extended to its maximum length and the right clip starts right at the first clip, which can be seen due to this triangle here. And now I would like to show how the way EDIUS acts when inserting transitions in such situations can be changed. We can recall that by adding a transition in the current state, EDIUS doesn't allow it. Now, however, there is a possibility to change this under Settings, User Settings. In the User Settings, there are many ways to influence the way EDIUS acts. In the scope of this beginner's tutorial, we can't go into every possibility, as that will suit the scope of a future tutorial. However, I would like to show this function, which is the option in the section Timeline Extend Clips when applying Transition Crossfade. This setting changes the way EDIUS applies transitions between clips. I will deselect this option by clicking, and then choose Apply and OK. And if I use this dissolve here, it looks a little strange at first, but as soon as I let go of the mouse, EDIUS sorts out itself the clip transition and lengths, and the transition sits between the two clips just as before, but EDIUS has trimmed the clips to accommodate the transition automatically. So that was just a small pointer, and it is of course down to personal taste as to which way you wish to work. I tend to trim clips myself so that I am fully aware of what is going on, and so I will put this setting back to being active.